Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and welcome to the day 6 of your 100 day digital marketing course. Today we are going to teach Sandhya how to create an online presence. So hey Sandhya, welcome to day 6. Thank you Deepak. Cool. So Sandhya, in day 5, we talked about niche selection and what are the niches that you can possibly enter. Mm. And we talked about next action steps where there are going to be three major niches that you are going to target. Uh, one is going to be your personal branded website. And in your personal branded website, you will have a hero page or website. You will have a personal blog. You will have an email newsletter and social handles. And this could be like a platform where you can possibly experiment with new niches. There is no limit to what you can talk about here. If you have read a book, you can talk about it. If you have gone to a place, you can talk about it and basically experiment what kind of content is getting good traction. Hmm. And here you will also be creating your social handles and everything on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And this will be like the generic high level personal brand. And since I have been in the industry for a long time, my three niches would be digital marketing, which is digital Deepak. But Digital Deepak does not necessarily just talk about digital marketing. I talk about startups. I talk about a bunch of topics on my blog, including investments and sometimes even crypto and personal finance. So I have made my personal brand into Digital Deepak. Maybe we can think of a handle like Digital Deepak which rhymes with S in the future. But even I kind of follow the same uh, path where I have one personal brand and from the personal brand, I set up companies and I create another uh, other niches uh, in the personal branding category. So my other two niches will be biking, which will be biker boy brand and health and fitness for alphas is what I am going to, you know, plan around this. So these three niches we will parallelly build uh, in the 100 day digital marketing course. Apart from what I have at Digital Deepak, we will build biker boy and a health blog for you. Uh, I've still not decided on the perfect name. Uh, ideally, if you look at, let's say, sandhya.com, uh, it's a $20,000 premium domain name, mm -hmm. right? Maybe at some point I will be rich enough to afford that mm -hmm. and buy it for you as a gift. But for now, uh, you know, uh, I was able to find that sandhya.pro is available, not the most in demand extension, but still, like, you know, Sandhya is a professional, so. Just for this particular experiment, we will go with Sandhya.pro to create your hero page and personal blog. And uh, for the content marketing niche where we were thinking about doing agency as well as mentoring, uh, I think we can use the domain targetcontent.com. Oh, I love the name. So targetcontent.com target is a domain name that I purchased as a premium domain name long back and we could possibly put this to use in our project. And for wedding planning, I have decided on the domain name happybright.in and again you did have your doubts about you know how viable is the market for wedding planning, you know how we are going to go about it, there are already so many wedding planners out there. So that's what we are going to discuss uh, you know a little bit in this 100 day digital marketing course that you have to start somewhere yeah. and uh, maybe you can just put up a blog and put up a bunch of articles and if it starts getting traction you can build a community around it, maybe build a forum start helping people with the questions that they might have. And you know, that is how I started Bike Advice blog as well, right? You can't be 100% sure where something will go before starting it. And that is the uncertainty that we talked about in entrepreneurship that it will be a little bit uncertain, but we will start anyway, mm. right? So these are the three niches. So coming back to day six, your personal brand, your content writing uh, niche and your wedding planning niche. These are the three domain names that we have to set up. For people watching this particular 100 day digital marketing course, you don't need to do all the three niches at the same time. Um, you can maybe do two, one personal branded website on one particular niche. Uh, here, since we have a little bit more resources and we want to show this example to people watching this particular course, I'm going to create three different niches and three different websites. So one website I could build on WordPress, one website I could build on Ghost. To show that to people, I'm going to go with three niches. Yeah, and also we can, you know, like experiment on which 
blog will rank better or yeah. which will perform better yes. accordingly people also can choose their niche yes uh, and see if you know wedding planning works or not and content writing works or not yeah so i will be talking about the high level approach here and specific approaches is something that people can obviously optimize it's not necessary that people have to follow this blueprint exactly if they get some new ideas they can apply those ideas if not they can just follow this particular formula right so uh, so what we will do is that uh, you know we will start developing the social media handles one by one uh, i don't think i need to tell people how to create a twitter account or a linkedin account or instagram account these are like pretty much self serve uh by the next video we will get all these things ready mm -hmm. uh domain registration is also something that i don't think i need to like you know uh teach people how to do it there are plenty of domain registrars where you can register the domain name so i will just talk about that maybe uh, you can give like a short brief about it so that you yeah. know people can just go and self start yes so here are like four different domain registrars that i have listed out uh, we have name.com namecheap.com godaddy.com and hover.com Uh, I think pretty much everybody would have heard about this domain registrar called GoDaddy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, how much does a domain cost to, you know, hold it for a year if it is available? So, if you go to GoDaddy dot com uh, and if you search for the domain name, so let's say Sandhya Content dot com, just for an example. Mm -hmm. So this domain name is not registered yet, mm -hmm. and if you just search for Sandhya Content dot com, uh, it says that you can get the website just for one thirty nine rupees. A lot of times, not bad. Uh, you know they give you a lot of offers to get you like you know started, mm -hmm. and uh, not hundred percent sure whether this price will stick all the way till checkout. Uh, let's check it at name dot com. So these are all the websites where you can go and buy domains. Buy domain names. And also, yes. just like how before, you know, like having your own email ID on, say, Google or something, yes. you have to first check if it is available or not. Yeah. You'll have to first check if these uh, these domain names are available or not. Exactly. Okay. So, for example, if I search for SandhyaContent.com, it is available on Name.com for nine hundred and thirty-three rupees. Okay. and anybody can just add to cart do like a simple checkout you know people who have done online shopping i think this is like a pretty simple uh interface uh, you just have to make a payment and uh, the payment can be made via paypal or it can be made via your credit card if it is an international payment there are a lot of indian uh, registrars also like for example if you go to let's say big rock you will be able to see that in big rock dot com uh, you will be able to buy domain names and uh, this is an indian focused website um so one thing that i would like to tell here is that when you are going ahead and buying a domain name uh, i prefer kind of holding the domain name separately uh, when you buy hosting also you will get uh, an option to buy domain name like for example hostinger dot in Uh, I will just put hosting at dot in slash digital deepak because I have a partnership with them, and they give me affiliate commissions whenever somebody purchases hosting through my link, and people who are using this link will also get like a special offer with the coupon code digital deepak. So we'll talk more about affiliate marketing in the future videos. Also, can you just tell me what is like, what what is domain name and hosting? Hosting, yes. In a, in like I'm very going simple to tell words. you that. So see when you like you know buy hosting plan. and if you are going and buying a single website hosting a lot of time the domain name uh, the hosting company itself will give you an option to buy a domain name okay uh, but i don't prefer that because in most of the hosting companies the interface to manage the ownership of your domain name and move it across other domain name registrars or if you have to do ownership transfer is a little bit uh, difficult comparatively so i have basically experience that uh, name.com namecheat.com godaddy and hover uh, kind of like provide the best interface security features and uh, you know domain ownership management features okay and uh, domain names are basically like you know what are domain names they are basically like phone numbers mm -hmm. right uh, or i would say the contact name on your phone mm -hmm. so what happens is that if you are hosting a website so let's say you go to digitaldeepak.com you are seeing a website which is loading 
this is loading from a particular server on the web right and if people have to visit this particular website then ideally they should be entering a uh, ip address the mm -hmm. ip address of the server where this website is hosted okay but remembering the ip address which is a numerical value is very difficult uh, to access websites each and every time right, right? if you have to go to google.com you have to remember a phone number kind of ip address if you have to go to uh, you know yahoo.com then you might have to go ahead and remember a particular number so instead a domain name basically what it does is that uh, it makes it easy for people to remember uh, you know how to access the websites so it gives kind of gives a handle mm. and if you go to this website into dns.com and if you enter a particular domain name here and click on report uh, you will be able to see a lot more details especially the ip address of where the domain name is uh, oh pointing wow. to okay right? that's a, that's a really long address yeah so uh, it doesn't mean that if you just visit this address the website will load i'm just trying to extremely simplify it for you we will go into much more details in the future videos i will teach you about domain name servers and stuff like that like premium domain names but here basically what you need to understand is that imagine you have my phone number saved on your phone mm. you pr most probably will not remember the exact phone number like mm. you have a lot of contacts on your phone and you might remember my phone number obviously but do you remember my phone number i guess so <laughs> <laughs> at least five digits out of it it's okay <laughs> we'll so, talk about that after the video okay <laughs> <laughs> so um getting back to the point uh, you know when you have a uh, friend's phone number on your phone you don't remember the phone number but you remember the friend's name yeah and if your friend changes his or her phone number let's say her phone number hmm. right hmm. um <laughs> then <laughs> watch that again okay so uh if uh, if she changes her phone number then you will not uh, you know try to remember the new phone number yeah uh, you will basically save the same phone number hmm. uh within the same contact so the contact name does not change yeah but the phone number for the contact keeps changing if they keep changing their phone numbers once okay. in a while yes right So similarly what happens is that uh, I can host my website on WordPress and then put it on Hostinger I can host my website on WordPress and uh, put it on wpx.net so these are hosting companies which will host your WordPress blog WordPress itself is not the host right okay. so WordPress is basically a software mm -hmm. it's an open source software which will help you manage your content so it's a content management system Mm. So there is something called wordpress.com which is a self-hosted solution where you could sign up and just create a site here. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not recommend this because it will have like a subdomain like sandhyadeepak.wordpress.com. But if you are having your own domain name then you need to install wordpress.org in that. Mm. And most of these hosting companies such as WPX hosting or Hostinger uh they will give you a one click wordpress install where once you sign up for the hosting uh which is basically renting out a server in the cloud right so if you go with wpx hosting then there will be a server farm and okay. i could like you know show you server farms so server farms are basically what we call as cloud right oh, wow. it's not necessarily in the cloud this looks so like some matrix movie Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are uh, facilities like this and sometimes these server farms are rented it doesn't necessarily mean that every hosting company owns a server farm they might rent space in some other server farm but your website is basically hosted in one of these servers and these are not like personal computers these are computers which host your website which is connected to the internet all the time. Mm. So your website files are hosted in a computer and when you go to let's say digitaldeepak.com mm. the domain name system or the dns system what it does is that it looks for what is the ip address of digital deepak's website the domain okay. name points to that ip address just like your contact in your mm -hmm. phone points yeah. to a particular phone number Because and that, that phone will be number yeah. yeah got it and that phone number is in a with a particular service provider mm. the domain name is basically like your contact mm. and uh, mm -hmm. with certain got settings it. in your domain name which we will set it up in the future videos you are going to point the domain name to a particular server where mm. the files are hosted and this particular server is loading the files to the user's computer 
So if you open digitaldeepak.com, the files that are loading in your computer is coming from a server. And okay. instead of typing the IP address of the server directly, you put the domain name and it is configured in such a way that using a live internet connection, that files are loaded into your computer. Mm. So here is one interesting thing. You can also host your website on your own laptop if you want to. Oh. It is possible. And it's a little bit technical. We won't get into that. But a technical person can actually set up a laptop as a server itself. Mm -hmm. But if somebody is accessing this website, this laptop has to be on and it has to be connected to the internet all the time. Okay. So got since it. we cannot use laptops for such website hosting purposes, mm. we go ahead and rent a service space uh, in a hosting company. Mm -hmm -hmm. Right? So that is the difference between domain name and hosting. Got it. So... You don't need to understand the technicals of it. We have to register a domain name. Uh, anybody can go and purchase a domain name. In fact, if somebody is watching this particular video and they want to like set up their own website, they can go ahead and first register a domain name. And domain registration is basically where it starts. So the domain registration, for domain registration, mm -hmm. it will be of different price on different websites. Little bit, it will change. So how do you choose? Like, do you go for the cheapest one or the most expensive one? How do you choose? I mean, I would not go for a very, very cheap one mm -hmm. because I'm not sure about the you know, authority yeah. and the security of that particular domain registrar. For example, there is a website called uh, Crazy Domains and uh, their support is like not really good. Okay. You know, if you contact them, they take like a little bit more time to respond. Uh, login authentication security is not that great but sometimes you will get domain names for very cheap they also sell like uh, you know hosting also but i wouldn't like prefer it uh, too much over more reputed registrars if anybody searches for like let's say top 10 domain registrars uh, they will be able to see a list in which you will see name.com namecheap.com and all those things Got right it. Hmm. so domain registration is the first thing and uh, we could like, you know, keep the domain name so a little bit more readable. So I will just put it as registrars and I will put all this into the registrars. And uh, how to choose a domain name. So I will mm. just call it domains. So you have to make it uh, preferable to dot com. So if you can get the .com, that is the most preferred one. Okay. You have to make it uh, as short as possible, but not too short. Like three character domain names are already taken, most of the domain mm -hmm. names. But two short domain names might not be very readable sometimes. Like let's say Sandhya Deepak. Okay. You, don't, you don't necessarily want sd.com. Yeah. It will just be like too short. Right? Uh, it, sh it should pass the phone test. So what do I mean by the phone test is that if I tell you, hey, visit digitaldeepak.com over the phone, mm. you will not make any spelling mistakes and you will enter the you know, actual domain uh, name. Got it, yes. Some people do a name play. Instead of C, they will put K. Mm. Like, in, like, you know, let's say there is a brand name with the word craft. Yeah. They will put K-R-A-F-T. Right. And this will not pass the phone test because if you are telling the domain name over the phone, they have to ask, like, please spell it mm -hmm. for me. So I always prefer uh, registering domain names which pass the phone test, isa.com and... Ideally, it is like two words, okay? Um, but uh, targetcontent.com kind of passes all this, right? If I tell you, hey, visit targetcontent.com mm. or happybright.in, you will mm. not make a spelling mistake. It is two words. It's not too yeah. long. I can give you an example where I read it somewhere or I think I saw it in somebody's course. Um, imagine somebody says uh, visit uh, therapist.com and you type it. <laughs> okay, you actually it read sounds it like <laughs> therapist.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So even though therapist.com does not necessarily, you know, have possible spelling mistakes in it, mm. it, it still sounds weird. So yeah, yeah. interesting. Cool. So, so that way, uh, you know, this is how you choose a domain name. We have already chosen domain names for you. And these tips can be used by the audience to register their own domain names. Uh, web hosting, you have, uh, you know, WPX net as well so wpx.net bluehost hosting gear are very good for wordpress hosting mm -hmm. so in fact i will categorize it as wordpress so these are wordpress hosting companies so 
it has nothing to do with wordpress.com it is wordpress.org which is the content management system mm. which you put it on these hosting sites so in the future videos i will show you how to do this step by step so anyone can set up their own site if they oh, want nice, to nice. because the website becomes a platform on top of which you learn digital marketing right uh, you have wix.com and a few wix alternatives so if i have to find out uh, wix alternatives we can go to google and put wix versus so this is one of the easiest ways to find alternatives for a particular oh, smart. Yeah, uh, nice. you know service right so wix versus wordpress wix versus godaddy wix versus webflow so there are a bunch of drag and drop page builders wix is one of them okay and uh, what we will do is that uh, sandhya.pro we will host it on wix all right mm -hmm. uh, target content uh, we will host it on ghost and happy bright.in we will host it on wordpress so that we can show all the different types of hosting okay so in wix.com uh, your hero page can be built and uh, wix.com does not have a blog attached to it so within sandhya.pro we could have something like blog.sandhya.pro so there so you, you can don't, you don't put really need any kind of coding knowledge to build yes. a website yes wix will help you just drag and drop drag and drop images yes. and text boxes mm, and everything mm, so that mm. it's easy for anybody to build a website yeah exactly i also want to add one more point so in sandhya.pro if you if we are going ahead and creating a blog it could be a subdomain and it could be like blog.sandhya.pro which is treated like a separate domain name by google mm. for especially seo purposes so you can have unlimited subdomains on a particular website like for example digitaldeepak.com is hosted on ghost but learn.digitaldeepak.com is hosted on teachable so this is my learning management system okay so i can also do like you know creator program i did so that is on creator.digitaldeepak.com mm -hmm. right so that way uh, you can create like unlimited subdomains you might already have seen a lot of website have subdomains yeah. so that is how you know subdomains work and these are the different web hosting companies you also have something called webflow which is a little bit technical um, but there are webflow builders there is a lot of freelancing opportunities in webflow as well uh, you could like you know build kickass visually appealing landing pages on webflow and you have landing page builders uh, so landing page builders are extremely good for collecting leads uh, doric.com is one landing page builder so if you go to doric.com um, and if you go to pricing you will be able to see that there is doric cms which is a wordpress.org type content management system but forget about that uh, check the doric classic plans so at 79 dollars a year you will be able to get 25 domain names and unlimited pages and what basically doric does is that it helps you build lead generation forms which is going to be very important in digital marketing so for example 100 day agency course is built on doric and here people can come in enter their name and email id and doric has options to link this name and email id data to the crm which is also something that i will teach you in the future lessons you also have unbounce.com and you have instapage.com so these are also little bit premium landing page builders which will help you build landing pages on your website and this can be on a subdomain and basically what it does is that it helps you collect leads so you can also build landing pages using tools like elementor pro so if you go to you know this particular wordpress add on which is like a theme so wordpress has a lot of theme add ons or a lot of tools which can be added and plugged okay. in into wordpress so here uh, you know they charge you a certain amount so it also has a drag and drop builder elementor uh shreyas from our team is an elementor expert he builds a lot of landing pages in elementor nice uh it's a little bit uh, technical little bit difficult to build pages on elementor but not impossible but you build the landing page on wordpress i personally prefer building landing pages on doric because it also has a drag and drop builder and it is more for lead generation so you have websites for reading blogs you have websites like a hero page which will be just for giving information about a particular site you have ghost which combines wordpress kind of content publishing features as well as a newsletter feature and then you have wordpress so 70% of the web is on wordpress can you believe it my god so that is how big wordpress has become because they are one of the earliest 
open mm. source content management systems that was developed so this kind of gives you an overview about domain names web hosting and landing page builders and what we will do is that in the future lessons we will start building them one by one live in front of the audience mm. while we are going and creating a wix website mm. we are connecting the domain name to the wix website because right now okay. all i have done is that i have just registered the domain sandhya.pro on mm. namecheap.com mm-hmm. but inside that particular domain name you need to add s- specific settings from wix.com because once you create a wix.com account and build a landing page there how would the web or the system mm, know that get connected. if somebody visits sandhya.pro it should load from wix because mm-hmm. wix will give you something called name servers which you have to put it back into the domain name panel which we will do it live in the next video and once you do that people will be able to visit sandhya.pro and actually access the website because if you go ahead and visit sandhya.pro right now nothing will load because we have registered the domain name but there is no content on the domain name and it does not connect to a hosting where files can be loaded from yet so you can see that it just loads a basic name cheap page and it says this domain name is registered at name cheap there is no site here so this okay. is what happens after you just register domain name and don't do anything also it's not secure yet so there is no security certificate here like in most of the websites you will see there is a lock okay so, so wha- how do you get a security certificate so most of the websites will give you a security certificate by default mm-hmm. and it wouldn't be a problem and i will tell you more about ssls uh, in the next video all right so i think um, there is one question that has been repeating in our comments from our uh, uh, audience and uh, this question also you know rings a bell in my head what is the difference between a website a blog and a landing page so a website is basically like a corporate brochure right uh, if you go to like a particular service website so let's uh, you know search for a website like exhotel.com so exhotel.com is a saas product mm-hmm. and what you see here is basically a website uh, most of the websites will have contact us button events press release some phone number it will have a display of all the products that they have all the solutions that they have all the case studies that they have it's just like collection of everything in one it's like basically the reception of a hotel okay. you just go there and you can access everything from there for a particular brand you have like a home page and that is a website website are good if somebody wants to check you out but whenever we run digital marketing campaigns we never drive traffic directly to the home page of the website because the home page of a website is designed to give you information and it is not designed to get you to take action a specific action mm-hmm. so that's what a website is about right. right and websites is something that you have seen like you know there are so many websites you know for institutions or you know all those things uh, a blog is basically a chronological sequence of all the articles that you have written and a blog is to get people to read it's like an information library mm-hmm. so if you go to digitaldeepak.com you will see that whenever you visit a blog there will be blog posts on the page mm-hmm. and in the blog posts you will see particular dates for when the blog post has been published and most of the blogs will have an archive section mm-hmm. and in the archive section you will be able to see all the articles that i have published organized by date and usually the latest article comes up on the top mm. so that is a blog a landing page is something that is built for a specific action okay in a website there are so many links right so it's not made for conversion people mm. will come and they might not necessarily like you know click on let's say request demo let's say exotel wants to drive traffic uh, to a landing page mm-hmm. or uh, exotel wants to get more leads and customers let's say Okay. they want more people to sign up for their product demo so what will happen is that uh, they won't drive traffic to exotel.com directly because here there are so many distracting links exactly that people yes. might just like you know go away so if you are driving 100 visitors to this page maybe only 5 people will request a demo yeah right? and instead of giving their lead mm. uh, people might click on say something like knowledge center and they'll get distracted by reading a blog or they, they will not- read press release or media or something mm. right so ideally uh, when i just search for cloud telephony exotel which is like more of a brand keyword uh, when you put like the brand keywords in most of the cases it will end up going to the home page itself but if i search for let's say get cloud telephony 
right? Uh, Xhotl doesn't show up here, but let's visit a bunch of sites. So here you can see that if you go to this company Servtel, mm. it's not going to the Servtel.in homepage. It is going to slash offer slash cloud telephony systems in India. It so is designed for lead generation. So this is a landing page. This is a landing where page. Where people come and put their lead Leads. or there is an action to be taken. Yeah. So there are only three possible actions you can take in a landing page. Either somebody fills a form and gives their lead information or somebody goes ahead and books a call mm -hmm. by clicking on an action button or somebody goes and makes a payment on the page. Okay. Done. Right. So these are the three different uh, things that landing page serve. Landing page are designed for conversion, not for information. Okay. And that is why we need landing pages separately. If you look at this particular website also, the ad led to callhippo.com business virtual phone number, right? It doesn't lead to the home page. It leads mm -hmm. to a page where it is optimized for conversion depending on what people are searching for. Yeah. Like an education company will have a lot of courses, mm -hmm. right? So if I visit uh, Upgrad's website by searching for learn data science, you will see that it's not going to Upgrad's homepage. Mm -hmm. It is going to the data science page specifically because I searched for learn data science. Right. So uh, whenever you are driving traffic through paid advertising campaigns, it is always the case that the traffic goes to a landing page and not to a home page. So right. now you understood the difference between a website, a blog and a landing page. Yeah, I understood. But I have one more question. Okay. One last. So for personal brand, should a student or should a person build a website or should he start with a blog? You should have a website and you have a blog se section inside the website. The website should okay. just give information about who you are, what have you achieved, where have you worked, some testimonials or something like that. That's what people will land on. But then there should be a blog section where there are latest articles coming up. So a website is a structure and a blog is the matter that fills the structure. Got it. Blog is one of the things that fills the website structure, yeah, but there course. are a lot of other things in a website as well. Yes. Right. So yeah, that's about it for the day six of the 100 day digital marketing course. Uh, we talked about how do you build your online presence and we finalize the domain names for each of your uh, brands that you are going to build. Uh, what we will do in the next lesson is that we will start with your personal brand, which is sandhya.pro. We will sign up for a Wix account and we will start building a page on sandhya.pro on Wix and we will also configure the domain name DNS settings so that your website can be up and running. So that will be the assignment for the next lesson. All right. So I think uh, our audience also can do the same thing, right? Like they can just go search if they uh, can find a domain name for themselves and uh, register the domain name, mm. come back and do the assignment with me so that I can exactly. have like a you know bunch of uh, co-fellows doing uh, assignments with me, yeah. just so like a class. Ideally, I would start uh, building a community mm -hmm. for the 100 day digital marketing course. So all the people who are re uh, regularly following all of our videos, they can become part of the community and start the discussions there. Right. So from now onwards, I think the practical learning of it uh, is going to begin and uh, yes. it's going to be fun. Yeah. Having your own website, having your blog and learning with a lot of students who are your followers. It'll yeah. be fun. So things will start taking shape from now on because until now we have covered a lot of uh, theoretical concepts. We have not gone into the practical. Which was mandatory for a person to understand. Yeah, the foundational yes. knowledge is yes. also very important. So yeah, that's that. See you in the next video, Sandhya. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Deepak. Bye-bye.